Hey guys, so for this video I'll be showing my collection for Gina. Maybe some of you haven't heard of her um, in a while or maybe you don't know her at all. But she was an artist, a solo artist under Cube Entertainment. And, you know, she's had like a scandal that was neither confirmed or denied. So she's been, she has completely disappeared. And I'm really curious to know what happened to her because I really miss her. She was one of my favorite solos. And I always look forward to her comebacks. So if anyone knows, I know her her fans are called Genie. So if you any any if your genies know what's what's up with Gina, please fill me in on the comments down below. But yeah, I'll show what I have and then talk a little bit about more things that I may be getting from her. But yeah, so I have her first full length album, Black and White. A fun fact about this is that she released a mini album prior to this, but that mini album has. Uh, the songs in that mini album are also in this one, so that's why I decided not to get the mini album because all the songs are in here. Um, and this has 10 songs, so I guess Cube is being cheap, but... Um, she was actually really successful when she first came out. Like, she won number one, um, and it comes with 10 tracks, but I recommend listening to Black and White, which is the title track, uh, um, Super Solo, and the song... Um, her debut song, Kojo uh, Chulke Chalsara. It's actually one of my favorite K-pop songs, to be honest. Her debut song, perfect. Um, and she has like a really great body as well. Um, I don't know, she was just really fun to listen to. Um, she's from like Canada. I just really love Tina. I miss her. I don't think she'll ever be coming back though. Hopefully I'm wrong. So that's her first full-length album. Then I have her second mini album, Top Girl, which was released the same year. Like, 2010 was the year of Gina because this was one of the best-selling K-pop songs, Black and White, and she just wrote off with that. And this should have promoted Banana as well. Banana was another great track for um, on this mini album. So, yeah. Here's the disc. And she has kind of like that um, uh, breakfast concept, I guess. Um, which, like, it's not even in the music video. But she's always been, like, more on the sexier side. Except for her um, last song, which was, like, I forgot what it was called. But that's, like, my least favorite song from her. Is the last thing she released. But... This was a great um, uh, comeback for her. A fun fact, she was actually supposed to be in a girl group with like um, Hyo Sung, uh, Yubin from the Wonder Girls and Yui. Um, from after school so this comes with five tracks and here's another picture and another picture and the credits so that's it for my collection for Gina I just wanted to make a video for her because she was one of my favorites um, solo artists I don't know if I'll be getting her other works it's just, it's just a couple more it's um, the one with too hot and the one with um, the song with Ilhun, which I can't remember the name of right now at the top of my head, but definitely check out her music. Uh, I I really hope that um, she's okay. Most out of like this whole situation, I really hope she's okay because like there's been no news regarding what happened. Um, but if you're curious about any other uh, groups or solo artists that I collect, I upload. I have uploaded videos for them. Um, it, some some are bigger, some are smaller, but I wanted to dedicate a video for uh, at least the ones that I have one more than one album from because that means I was trying to either on the way of collecting or maybe they disbanded or they didn't release that many stuff. So um, on the case of Gina, I've been, I really want to get the other two stuff. So who knows if I ever make an updated uh, collection for Gina and I'll, I'll have those two out those two albums that I'm missing from her. But if you have any other questions, comment down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.